Greetings, Lister. Come close and I will share with you the information I have garnered. For someone has prayed to the Night Mother yet again. The Dark Brotherhood must seek out a lord named Sonya. She has need of our services and we are only too happy to oblige. Your speaker should look for this person in a small, unnamed village, just west of the city of Alabaster, in the Khajiit homeland Leave of Elsewhere, oh dear listener. Deliver this information to your speaker, so that the will of Sithis may be fulfilled. All hail our dread father. So, the Night Mother has spoken. I will make sure this information reaches the appropriate family members. Ah, yes. Here are your weekly earnings. I will see you next week, most honorable listener. Not bad work for 200 gold. Greetings, and welcome back to the Adventures of Felon Frisky. My name is Cloak. We've officially finished the Dark Brotherhood quest, so all that's left to do is collect... 200 gold on a weekly basis for being listener. So I figured, hey, then let's do uh, the Thieves Guild next since we've already did the murder request, right? So just wait. Oh. Do I know you? Ah, yes. Another scoundrel who served time in an Imperial jail. The Grey Fox is offering you a chance to join the Thieves' Guild. The Grey Fox? He is the King of Thieves in Cyrodiil. You could think of him as our Guildmaster, although he would deny that title. Okay, um, join the Thieves' Guild. Be patient and wait for the others. I need both the Wood Elf and the Argonian before I can begin. Okay. There he is. Or she. Oh, I'm on your way. I really don't have time for. Everyone is here. Let's begin. Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild is not a myth. We are followers of the Grey Fox, and I am his doyen. Merely by finding me, you have passed the first test. Oh, Sith is be pleased. It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. And one of them is a Dark Brotherhood a listener. Skill, I'm going to make this a contest. Ooh, sweet. That's not fair. Methrodel, you know the rules. However, for Amuse and the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him will be invited into the guild. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise. Somewhere in the Imperial City, the beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. The one thing I can buy. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. Damn it. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. Uh, I beg differ. I am a murderer. <laughs> I am the top murderer. Oh, hush up. Hmm. Maybe he lives in the Elven Garden. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rob her. Don't try to slow me down. I'm going to get that diary before you. Or I'm just gonna follow her and I'm gonna rob her and take the diary off her. As long as I don't kill her, it's okay, right? What is it, citizen? Oh, nothing. Lead me to the diary. I mean, she's clearly a thief. She knows where she's going. Let's use her as the bait. All I'm going to do is uh, pick her pockets at the end of it. 
Or another thing I could do is I could reset the game, load back, and steal the diary in advance. Oh, I like that too. Because the last time I tried to auto-pick an easy lock, it went through more lock picks than it would have done it the hard way. Oh, cool. Ciao. Thief! You stole that diary from me. Yeah. Now I have to wait to get it. Bye. Sucker. Hey, if you make a big deal out of this, I'll introduce you to um, the new upgraded version of the Blade of Woe, which did replace Sufferthorn. Besides, Honor Among Thieves? Yeah, not in this game. I mean, if... um. We look back at the episode when I had to, uh, help Aurora. Athletics by just walking around. Hmm. Maybe he lives in the Elven Gardens. confused what do you mean I have the book congratulations you have returned with the diary you have earned the right to join the thieves guild you now owe your loyalty to our guild master the gray fox he has three rules you must follow okay what are the rules sir first never steal from another member of the guild oops second Never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. But I am. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Gray Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. Well, at least she's got a heart. Okay, about the guild? What do you want to know? Well, for one thing, what do I do now? What do I do if I kill someone? Yeah, sure. Breaking any of the three rules means expulsion from the Thieves' Guild. If you commit murder, you must pay the blood price to rejoin the guild. Blood price is for each person slain. You can pay any of the guild doyen. Okay, uh, Thieves' Guild jobs. Jobs? We're thieves, not masons or scribes. Look, you're on your own as a thief. Go find a likely looking house. Case the joint to see when the owner is gone. When he leaves, you break in and steal some stuff. You don't need special permission or orders to do that. Ah, oh, what a waste. However, you will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Most other merchants won't take hot merchandise. Yeah, that's my thought. Well, sometimes the guild gets a special commission. You know, guaranteed pay to acquire certain items for special clients. You should check in with your doyen every once in a while to see if there are any commission jobs available. Um... Special jobs? You need more experience before I can use you on a commission job. Ongar tells me that you haven't turned in much loot yet. Where the hell's he? contributed enough to the guild coffers by selling stolen items to Ongar. I might have something for you. Come back then. Ah, oh, great. So, what do you want to shadow hide you? Okay. 50 Let's find this guy. Where's the fence? Okay, he's in Bruma. Okay, we'll start a, a massive robbery hijack quest to steal 50 gold worth of stuff and then get into the guild and well, sorry, we're into the guild to actually get a quest from the guild. What? That would make this worth the effort. Let's go introduce ourselves to our fence first. 
If I had to guess, he's probably at the tack. Oh, hold on. Maybe he's marked on the map. We'll assume he's marked on the map. Go away. Don't steal from the poor, they say. Okay, it makes sense, but I don't know why you would, because they have nothing in the first place. Don't kill people when you're on the job. Well, bad news, fellas. Good to see you. Frickin' Dark Brotherhood listener. Okay, so after wandering around Bruma for a while, I finally found the old coot. Hello, get up. I see you are with the gray fox. Do you need a fence? Just need to know where you're at. Thank you. You got some hot property. Had hot property back from Shadow previous Island. escapades, but no problem. Now I know where the fence is. I can now go about stealing 50 gold worth of stuff. Alright. Well, RPG rule number, I don't know, 8 or 9. If it's not nailed down, take it. So why not start big? We have a castle. Castles have lords. Lords usually have a lot of stuff. Oh, perfect. All I gotta do is sell it to him before I get arrested. Okay. We know there's a guard you barracks over there from away. a previous run through. We're looking for the private chambers. Alright, well, not nailed down. Four gold, that's a good start. Five gold. Two gold. Yeah, because silverware is a great way to load your pockets. Only in a fantasy game would this be a totally good idea. So the chance of someone walking in and catching me in the act would almost be guaranteed. Some crazy guy, off the street, dressed like this, snuck, just walked into the front door, and now he's snuck into the banquet hall. Well, why is he in there, you wonder? Oh, he's stealing all the silver. Kind of reminds me of, uh... A French musical in the making. Lots of silver stealing going on in those. Hmm, display case. What do you guys got? Very easy. Should take like one, right? One, two. Okay, two. Magic from the sky. I'll take it. Strong potion of insulation. Jeez. Even just to keep keep it for myself. Okay. That should be well above the number I need to steal. We'll just walk out the door like nothing happened. Looks like the count's not available. I'll be going now, gents. Don't mind me. What? I'm not a thief. And technically, you should worry more. I'm more of a Dark Brotherhood associate. What is it now? <laughs> I'm way more likely to kill the guards if it means getting away. Apparently, you can't do it with the Thieves Guild. I wonder if the Thieves Guild is supposed to even mingle with the Dark Brotherhood in any way. By the way, it looks no. Hey. I'm really tired. You're a fence. I got crap you got to sell you. Hot property. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Silver, 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 silver. Actually, I do have a couple other things for you. I might... You know what we're gonna do? Give me all those. I shouldn't sell it to you so cheap, but I know you won't ask too many questions. Cerdo Brandy. I gotta drink it myself. You can have it. All right. I'm glad that's done. Shadow hide. That should be complete. So now I should go talk to somebody and see if I can actually get a real job with the Thieves Guild. Been over this already. All right. So I'll go talk to Armand. And, um, see if he's got anything else for me. I imagine he shows up at night. Ah, our newest pickpocket. Um, any special jobs? The Gray Fox has asked me to take care of a problem. And I'm putting you on it. Good. Hieronymus Lex actually collected taxes from everyone living here on the waterfront. Your job is to recover those taxes. Are you up for it? Yeah, it does seem awful noble, noble of thieves, but who is this guy? He is a fool of a captain in the Imperial Watch. He's a real law and order type. He has a grudge against the Thieves Guild and the Grey Fox in particular. Lex has made it his personal mission to capture him. The Grey Fox has led our guild for over 300 years now. Wow. He has always guaranteed protection to the poor of the waterfront. I would assume there's more than one Grey Fox then. <laughs> Dread Pirate Roberts, anybody? Sure, I'll do it. Good. Find out where he's keeping the taxes and bring them to me. I'll also need the tax records of what each citizen paid so we can return it. No problem. Well, let's go talk to the guy. Shadow hide you. Gonna know her on looks Lexus first off. Wonder where he'd be at. Hmm, ask around. Maybe some guard knows. Excuse me. Protect and serve. Directions. What are you looking for? Oh, that doesn't help. Well, he's uh, gotta be around here somewhere. Could be by the prison with where Adama's Philida's successor is. Oh, the evil, evil jerk. He actually collected taxes like he's supposed to. My ear, citizen. Okay, a couple guards, but the man I'm looking ear, for. Citizen. How are you? Speak. You have my ear, citizen. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I'll cut the scene to when I actually find him. Because right now I don't even know what I'm looking for. God, where's this bastard? Pardon me. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was sent to ask for your help. Um, who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Ross of Norvolo. My husband, Gillen, has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Sure. Normally, I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. Thank you. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case... Strange stuff he stumbled on. Which worries me a bit. 
He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. You're to meet him at Ceridur's house, which is located in the Temple District. He said all will be explained when you get there. That's all he told me to say. Thank you. I'm Death Trap. She's gonna have to wait till I find who I'm looking for, which... Yes. Watchtower. You have my ear, citizen. Upstairs. So he's supposed to be in the watch barracks somewhere, huh? Probably at the top. Oh, locked watch barracks. Nah, hold on for that for a minute. No surveillance. All right. Twelve lock picks to open one average lock. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see if it takes twelve more, shall we? Twelve, almost close enough. Just go returns to the watch to. Uh... I think you should leave. Yes, sir. I will leave. Autom I will leave. Last thing I want is to be caught with stolen crap in my hand. Have you recovered those taxes? Yes. Ah, the gray fox will be very pleased. We will make sure this gets back to the people. Wonderful. Can you believe that fool even bothered to collect this paltry sum? You can keep it. I merely wanted the watch to know they went too far. I think it's time to promote you to footpad. Congratulations Footpad. on your new guild rank. Wonderful. Okay, we'll come back and play with you later. Shadow hides you. So now I gotta go fall into a death trap. Oh. Okay, so I think I figured out how this works. I steal a set sum and sell it to my fence. And then I get to actually do a Thieves Guild quest. And in between each of those quests, I had to go back and steal more crap for the fence. That's what it takes them to trust me. I don't know why that is, but that seems to be what I'm going to have to do. Meaning that this is going to turn into one of the most drag out portions of this Let's Play. Here I thought the Dark Brotherhood went on for a long time. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where they tried to kill me, I bet. Good thing I'm armed. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Dark Brotherhood, yeah. Oh, okay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Seridu. Please pardon me while I don't. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm not. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. Why? If you'll come with me. Why? Splendid. Watch your step. What exactly are you up to? What do you want? Oh, so you can murder me in the basement. Just follow him down and see if he decides to get murder me, huh? You know, you're in trouble if you try. Two-step stop. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you. Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. 
I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings. Bad news. I kind of like vampires, particularly when I work for the Dark Brotherhood. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. What's that got to do with me? <laughs> vampire? Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one. Until now. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire. Okay. And has already claimed one victim. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his oh, filth God. before he can feed or kill again. Roland, uh... Whatever his a last name is. Ago, I was roaming the city, as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone, and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. And how do I find him? I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. Yeah, because this is a great idea. Who knows when Roland may strike again? We um, must hurry. This might be a vampire too. I've seen dark elves, but those eyes are kind of hinting something to me. I'm pleased you've joined us. Who said I did? I'm Dark Brotherhood. I just like to kill people. You remind me of my homeland during the blight. Oh, thanks. Go ahead. Just insult the local kitty cat. Asshole. Alright, let's go look for this. Sob. Oh, of course he's here in the temple district. Everything's in the temple district, it seems. His home, huh? Huh? Picked locks. You know, I joined a thieves guild, and I still do a garbage can load lock picking. Even when I wasn't doing a thieves guild, I was doing crap ton lock picking. Search for clues, yes, um, and steal his shit. Useless. Handbill. Shopping list? I don't know why a vampire would have a shopping list. Perhaps he was turned recently. If he's even a vampire. Let's face it, these guys don't strike me as the most uh, successful band or trustworthy people I've seen. I trust the Dark Brotherhood more. And all that had me doing was killing people randomly. Same thing in that. Take some booze, though. Skuma! Hey, great, we can get high! No evidence. Oh, hey, lockpick. Useful. Considering I keep breaking them. Oh. I think I'll clear them out. I got a fancy white love to have all the wine. Nothing too helpful in here. Tribe stairs, then. 
was looking for a coffin, but he didn't have one. Yeah, I'm sure this is a vampire. I've not found any evidence. I'll look another room. Of course. Another room. Another lock to pick. Hmm, a skull. That's more like it. Creepy, you know? Oh, silver plate. Blue suede shoes. Oh, hey. Must be Elvis. Silver. That in a minute. Hourglass. Crystal ball. Probably worth something to a certain fence. Alright. Jewelry box. Four. Lock picks later. Gold. And a silver nugget. Nothing here that indicates that is incriminating, though. Just a bunch of stuff to take to the Thieves' Guild. Alright, well, another lock to pick. 17, 18 lock picks later. Gold and a silver nugget. There is no evidence that this guy's even remotely a vampire. Another box. 17 or 18 later. A shield and a dagger. Whoopie-doo. I am sure he's a vampire. No evidence. No nothing. Don't know where he went. No clue at all. Oh, unless I missed that. Love letter. Uh, stone singer. Okay, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a poem book, I guess. All right. Love letter. Oh, he's with his girlfriend, huh? It's a start. Booze. P no, pewter, not silver. Not silver, not interested. So, let's see where she's at. Oh, he's got a cabin retreat. Alright. Let's go rush up there and just deal with him then. You cannot fast travel this location. Of course not. However, where's the stable? I have one of the best allies for travel. And I'm pretty sure Shadowmere is more than willing to get me there. We just go around the Imperial City. I'll save you the trouble and I'll just um, pan over to it so you don't have to watch my travel time. Particularly when you watch Shadowmere try to swim. You know, sometimes I wonder if this game was designed horseback. Alright, swim, swim, Shadowmere. Shadowmere can jump out of water. Must be part Dolophon. Okay, so I'm getting close to my destination. Now, if he's really a vampire, the chance of me finding a girl dead is probably pretty high. And then I'll be in for a heck of a fight, and I don't want to contract vampirism. That would be very bad. Well, not very bad. I just don't want it. At this time. Let's put Blade of Woe to use. Alright, let's see if he's in here. This him? Sir! Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. You're not a vampire. Vampire? Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? That bastard. Seri Dodez accused me of being a vampire. Me? Ha! He's the one who is the vampire. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Calm down, explain, Mr. Roland. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I've forgotten my manners. 
Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina. What happened that night? Yes. I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Ralphina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Ralphina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. Well, you don't look like a vampire. I appreciate your forbearance. He's your trust. Serida. I know about Serida and his secret order. You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the... I doubt that he's told Gillen and Grace. Fintius. All right, we'll go talk to him and see what happens. Should be able to just fast travel there because it's in the market district. We've been there before. Let's go talk and get some information. So I'm beginning to suspect that Serador might actually be a vampire. Big addition. That guy did not have the uh, vampiric telltale signs in the eyes or anything. I'm Fentius. Fentius, owner and proprietor of the first. Great. Uh, let's talk. I'm not really at liberty to discuss my customers with strangers. Oh. Well. Make it quick. I'm not a stranger. Thank you, Halkai. Serator? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it, and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine, but he never talked to me about it directly. Really? Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Serator is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Thank you. That's suspicious, though. Good day. It's not that far. Okay, so all I gotta do is swim to the cave. We'll uh, cut. The, we'll pick up the rest of it when I get outside the cave. All right, we're outside the entrance. Let's go and see what's in here. I'm suspecting vampires, though. To be totally honest. Oh yeah, vampires den. That's exactly what I expect to find. Be sneaky about this because I don't want any vampirism. Steel axe, probably sell it. Okay, ram 
fire up there. And misty bog over there. Let's go get the vampire. One good sneak attack might do the job effectively. Hello? Who's there? Comes a dog. Wow, Blade of Woe has certainly gotten powerful. Take your lock picks and yeah, your potions. Vampire Witch Hunt. one over there. I'm just going to assume that everything in here is a vampire. Vampire Knight. Skeleton. Without the bow, it could be so useful. It's actually starting to become my preferred method of dealing with vampires and corpse. Empty. Because so I do not want to get into a close quarter bout with a vampire. Not if I can avoid it. In the back. Vampire Sorcerer. This just keeps getting better. One down there. There's two down there. Oh, it's approaching. Okay. Yep, yeah, knew there's another one in here. Vampire Crusader. I'm getting the feeling of vampires come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, don't they? It's more like a zombie the way it's walking, though. That's a zombie. And a dog. Much for Robin Hood. Oh, this is the fire. Yeah, we know fire already hurts in this game from previous examples. What would possess me to open this? Oh well, let's do it. I don't know why they seem to want to kill their captives, you know. It's far better to keep them alive, that way you just keep feeding on them. That was the guy! Okay, cool. <laughs> why have things in his pockets, though? Silver short sword. Worth it. Potions. 
take your house key. I'll take some of your money. Oh, box. Eh, cure disease. Probably drink one just to be on the safe side when I get out of here. That seems to be it, so just walk out of here then. Assuming I remember where the door is. That should be that hard to find. The quest says to go return to Roland's cabin and tell him the news. I think I'll see you there. So hello again. We're now outside of uh, Roland's. Let's just tell him what happened. Do you return triumphant? Indeed, I did, sir. I hope you're here to bring me good news. Well, he's dead. He's dead? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I feared I'd never be able to leave here, or worse, that he would come for me. I can finally return home. Indeed. The ironic thing is that I think the Order of the Virtuous Blood should continue its work. Perhaps I'll speak to the others. Yes, I think that the Order will live on. Give me time to make arrangements and meet me in Seridor's basement. I get the feeling he's gonna be dead. They're gonna probably kill him. We shall see. I figure they're gonna kill him, though, but they didn't get the memo that he's not the vampire. Let's find out. What do you want? Hello again, my friend. Oh, still it's breathing? So to see you again. Cool, I'm amazed. I've spent a good deal of time speaking with Gillen and Greythroat. They agree that the Order should live on. Not only that, but we'd like to make you an honorary member. If you're ever in need of our services, we'd be happy to provide them for you. In addition, we'd like to reward you with this enchanted ring. Use it well in the fight. Great. Quest complete. May the sunlight always safeguard your path. Ring, huh? What does it do? Oh, resist disease and reflect spells. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, I can wear two rings at once. Excellent. Yeah, we'll wear it. Thank you. <laughs> resist disease is useful. I'm pleased it's to see you again. To go. Yes, it is. I'm leaving. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'm going to conclude this episode there, then. And uh, we'll pick up more of the Thieves' Guild probably next time. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day.